Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the Hi guys, welcome back to Reviving Salvage. Um, well, I never thought I'd, well, I, I say never. I, I thought I wouldn't be doing another video on this car. Only the last one of it finished. But yet again, uh, we gotta do another video. Um, I wanna get this car wrapped up, guys. I don't wanna keep on filming the same content on this car because I know you guys will get bored. Uh, but we've got to make sure this car is right and I'm going to document it to make sure that I'm showing you that it's done right uh, I put it for the MOT after the last video which was the Monday and sadly it failed the MOT now it failed the MOT on emissions that is it no other faults no uh, ball, uh, ball joint springs nothing like that everything else is perfect apart from the emissions and it failed miserably on all three categories of the emissions. Uh, it is there, failed. Three things. Um, so I have been, it's now a week later since that video. Sorry for the shaking guys, I've got no stand while I'm doing this. Um, so it's now a week later since that because I've been waiting for some parts to arrive and it's taken over a week. My luck again, every time I seem to order some stuff, it takes an absolute eternity for it to arrive. So that's why it, it haven't had an up, uh, a video uploaded. Uh, so we're going to just crack on now. I think it's a process of elimination. Um, the guy who does the MOTs seems to think it might be the cat. Now, I've put cat cleaner in the car, but I'm unable to test drive it too much because I haven't got an MOT. So... What I'm going to do is, I know one of the sensors is damaged, the O2 sensors. So one of them, the plug is damaged. So I'm going to replace that one. I've been waiting a week for two, two of these O2 sensors. When I've taken it for a drive, the diagnostics on the VCDS has come up with misfire on all four cylinders. Uh, because I was revving the nuts out of it and the engine management light was flashing, flickering on and off. So that could be a coil, a coil pack somewhere. So but before I change all the coils, because I think I believe they are a common fault with these cars, the coils do go on them. Uh, I'm going to replace the O2 sensor because once I cleared the cords and was just sitting on the drive revving the car, there was no engine management light, but it was coming up with a O2 sensor um, fault. So I'm going to replace the top one bef before the cat because I believe that controls the fuel and, and everything else uh, of which it burns to the and sends that information to the ECU. So I think it might be that one. So fingers crossed, I'm going to replace the top one, replace the bottom one because the plug is dodgy on it anyway. So they eliminated. That is the cheapest option. And I say cheap. These were 50 odd quid each. So if I went to the dealers, which a lot of people say, go to the dealers, guys. You can get cheap parts cheaper. I priced one of them sensors um, the after the, the uh, postcard. And it was £200 for an O2 sensor from the dealer. So this is how much things are costing for this car. But it, like I said, now it's not about the money, trying to get it, uh, save money on it. Because that's, you forget that, that's gone. Um, it's more... Just get this car done to a high standard and back on the road. So, like I said, I will not admit, admit defeat. I'm going to carry on doing this car until it's done. And I know for a fact when it gets passed on to the next owner, they won't have to worry about anything for a while. It's a good car and and I know it's a good car and it will, it will eventually sell. So... That is... And this video is going to be spread over a couple of days because... I'm doing this before I go to work. Uh, I start. Now this is... What's the time now? I think it's about half past nine. I start work at half past twelve. So 
I've got an hour or two now to get these O2 sensors in. If I get time, all fairness to the garage, the garage has said when I take my MOTs, he said, if you've got uh, five minutes, give me a ring, and I bring the car up, and he'll check the emissions for me in between. So he'll it, tell me if I'm on the right track, if I fixed the issue or not. Because if it's still... Um, if the emissions are still sky high, then obviously it's, it's not that. Then I'm going to go for the coil packs because it's not burning fuel properly. Then if not, then I might have to change the cat. Now, I've priced a cat for one of these and you're talking 270 quid. So ultimately, I don't want to be changing that. But because it had a front end impact, it might have damaged the cat. Obviously, when we had this car, this car wasn't driving. It wasn't running, it wasn't uh, moving at all, it couldn't drive it. So, it might have had issues before the accident. And only now, because it's running, um, we're having to have these issues now. So, sorry about the sun, guys. It's sunny. I'm going to make it worse to the dry weather as well. So, and I'd like to say, thank you everyone who's commented on all the videos. It really, really means a lot. You, you're... Um, your positive feedback on on the videos gives me the the boost i need to crack on and get more cars on the drive because some points you look out the window and you're thinking what have i done why am i doing this and just call it a day now when you get in positive and fantastic uh, comments like you all most of you do then it gives you a little kick up the arse and say yeah i can do this and I'm going to continue to do it at the moment anyway. Uh, I am going to look, I'm open to the plans for the future is to have a garage. Uh, we're looking to have an house extension at some point. Fingers crossed, it'll all go through. And with that house extension, there's a garage. So that will leave me dry for a start and hopefully somewhere decent so I can film and get better videos out for you guys. So the future's looking bright for Reviving Salvage. I ain't, I ain't a quitter. I can tell you that now, although I thought about it a few times, uh, ultimately I don't give up. So anyway, I'm sorry to keep on talking, but like I said, this is going to be spread over a few days because I've got to try and get these old two sensors in before I go to work. And hopefully if I get time, I'll try and get the car up to the garage for it to be tested to see if it's worked. If, it's MOT, if, it, if it does work, then we'll get an MOT on this car and then it's drivable. And once it's drivable... The final episode then would be cleaning the bloody thing, getting it ready to f for for sale, and the final um, bits, really. So, and I got a friend who does detailing, uh, and I think he wants to detail the car and and show his uh, skills on the channel. So he's he's uh, I think he's going to come and join me. And we're going to have a nice episode of where the car is going to be cleaned professionally. And we'll go from there. But we'll see what happens with that. Anyway, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the content, the video. Please, if you haven't already, please like, share and subscribe. And give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. I can't get over how quick the channel has grown over the last couple of weeks. And it's all thanks to you guys. And it's also through hard work, being outside in the cold, wet, and you've got to appreciate it is difficult. I've never edited videos in my life until, you know, until I started this. I've never spoke to a camera. You know, you speak into a phone, well, I'm using a phone. Uh, it's very difficult because, you you know, you don't know, I don't go off a script or nothing. It, it's just whatever comes in my head. So some things might be wrong. I've never done cars in my life. So it's all it's all learning, and I know a few few of you comment and and you give really good criticism, and some people can be really negative. Unfortunately, the way it works is you always focus on the bad for some reason, and it always puts you down. But please be patient, guys, because we all are at some stage of learning, and you know, give us a chance. It is a difficult, and you got to appreciate. How hard it is to be speaking to a phone and editing. Editing takes up so much time. To try and get good videos for you, good content, editing is the most important part. And you can spend, well I spend eight, nine hours sometimes trying to do a video. And and then for it to be slated for the music is crap, I can't hear you speak and all this. It's a bit upsetting. But 
That's all I can say is it will get better in time. Like a fine wine. Reviving salvage will get better. I can tell you that now, guys. So just keep on supporting our channel. I have had merch. Uh, I didn't want to go too much into it. There is merch. I've done it ages and ages ago. Designed it, everything. I just haven't released it. Um, but there's hoodies coming soon. Cups and everything else. So that is a way of supporting the channel if you would like to. Uh, but that'll be for a later date. But there is stuff coming. And hopefully, you know, that is your contribution to the channel, guys. That would really, really help. Um, if you wanted to do that, it's, it's optional, you know. Uh, but anyway, like I said, I have talked a lot of shit. So let's crack on with it. Right, one O2 sensor is right underneath, and the other O2 sensor is there. I don't know if you can see that there. So, hang on. See that down there? I don't know if the camera will focus. There is the other O2 sensor. That's the top one. That's the one that seems to be coming up as an error. Now access for these is ridiculous. So I don't know how I'm gonna get that, but I'm sure we'll find a way. So let's crack on. Right, to take out uh, a sensor, you're gonna need something like this. I don't know if you can see that. Like that, because the wire will come out there, doesn't interfere with the socket. So, hopefully, this will work. The access on this isn't great, I'm hoping I can get to it. I'm hoping it fits. I appreciate you can't see, guys. Night at night, one of these might help. These are. Uh, Angle joints out of the Alfred's set, advanced set, cracking bit of kit. A little bit of that is will help get the better angle on it. If I show you that quick, I don't know if you can see it. The sensor is right there. I've got the socket on it, the angle joint, and it's going all the way across out there. So I appreciate it. the camera's not really focusing. There you go. So down there. So with a bit of luck, it'll give me the leverage. But you, there's no way you come straight up from there, straight up, because all this is in the way. So, like I said, and yet again, that tool set comes into play. You're not going to see that. Like I said, filming is really difficult. Now that I've slackened it off, I should be able to do it by hand now. Out it comes. If you look at that, guys, that is pretty dirty. Uh, so that might be one of the reasons why it's not working, but that could be. Uh, the cat is knackered as well. 
or full of that is I think it's where it's been standing for so long uh, so and I've got it out complete I haven't broke it and that's thanks to this tool there so let's get the replacement one on so with the new sensor it's just a reverse putting it on Obviously you've got to turn it on without cross threading it. It's just very difficult. Yes, the famous T guys. Right. Gotta get the same tight as you're gonna get it. That's in guys, that's in. Right, that is one done. One more to go. Now the next one's not so easy because you've got to jack the car up and get underneath it. And yes, I put all the engine cover back on. So. Uh, how are we going to do this? The exhaust is more or less on this side. So I'll jack up this side, I think. Just get enough to get underneath with the with the under tray off, and go from there. He said, "Don't fall. Don't forget all the things you've been taught. You've been told. Don't blink. Don't run. Don't turn left or turn right or look straight at the sun. My mind's gone in circles. I'm trying to fight it. Get in." Inside to stay quiet, go under the hey, hey, look. If I can do these screws that's holding this under tree on enough just to get in there, then we're laughing. So I can't film that, it's just gonna be really awkward. So I'll get back to you once I've done that. And if you can see that, guys, there's the sensor there. That was the damage to it. The sensor is perfect, but it could also not be making a correct um, connection. So that sensor has got to come out and replace. Like I said, everything is going to be perfect on this car. So there's no excuses. I know everything's done tidy then. So let's get that out. And it's the same way as we got the other one out. That fits over the top like that. Brilliant tool. It's on like that. Oh, I'm going to have to put the camera down guys, I can't get enough leverage on it because the access is a little bit better on that I'm going to get a spanner on it instead so let's try that I can't get enough leverage with that 
that was hard work because these get really off they uh they are but gonna get out That one's quite mucky as well. So, the new one goes in there. Right, just get that back in it. So careful with this lead because it's so easy. It's in there now. Take that up guys. There you go. Pull back in. That's what's left now. Sweet it. <sighs> Plug it in. If you listen there, you could hear the click. And Put all the wiring back, and that hopefully I've got some cable ties now. We'll cable tie all that back up, and that is that done, guys. Right, that's all I gotta do now is just tidy up them wires, cable tie them out the way, and put the under tray back on, and we're good to go. So let's see if this is work guys. Oh, and they're cutting the pavement out outside, so everything is going bloody wrong. Anyway, I, I don't know if you can hear me. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just scanning, I'm gonna clear all the cords, get the engine running to see if it's cleared the O2 sensor faults. Right, as you can see, there's the fault there. Uh, that come on when it was dry when I was driving it. So we're gonna clear all the cords and then start the car to see if it runs without any issues. Let's go. It's coming up with that error because of the key for the central lock and the battery's running flat, so. That's why that air is there. Okay. There you go, all okay. Now let's see, let me start the car. You hear that, she's running over, but ticking over. All right. Um. Uh, right, so what I'll do now is I'll take it around the block, around the street, to see if any errors come on. Right, I've gone around the block. <coughs> I am now ready to scan again to see if any faults come up. Fingers crossed, nothing will come up. 
There's no lights on the dashboard, apart from the key fob. I have the glass rods throwing up the center lock in. So, fingers crossed, we might have fixed the, the emissions error. Like I said, I apologize for the noise. The only way I'm going to find out now is because I it is now 20 past 11 and I've got to go work for half past 12, so I won't have time to take this up the garage. I don't think. Just to see if it's fixed, it's really annoying. I'll have to wait till Friday. So I don't know whether to ring the garage to see if he can squeeze me in quick. But uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do, guys. All right, there you go. It's come back with no faults at all. So I think that is cured the O2 problem and the emission fault as well. I'm fingers crossed. If you look engine fog cords none now when i took it around before it was coming up with um o2 sensor fault so i think we have done that and judging by the state of them sensors they were clogged and not working correctly and hopefully now it should work so i don't know what to do i'll i'll let you know well anyway further on in the video like i said this is going to be spread over a couple of days after revving the nuts out of the car for a little while, uh, it started to be a little bit lumpy and it's come up with four uh, errors which are in the engine and it is a misfire. So uh, the, only, the only thing it could be now I think, uh, I've changed the spark plugs in the car and uh, it's either the spark plugs I've bought to put in there are wrong because the reason why I say that is when I bought everything from Europarts, everything they sent me was wrong. So unless they're the wrong type of spark plug for the car, it could be that. It's, you know, I'd understand if you'd have a misfire in one coil pack, yeah, but all four, that seems a little bit sus to me. So what I'm gonna do now, because I've still got them, um, is, I'm not gonna do it now, but later on, because as I gotta to go to work, is I'm gonna change them spark plugs to see if that makes a difference. If not, then I'm gonna to have to order uh, new coils and just replace them. But I go for the cheapest option first is put the original spark plugs back in the car to see if it solves the problem. If it doesn't, then coil pack is my next issue and that'll be the next uh, port of call. Uh, but at least that O2 oh, sensor problem I haven't come back, so that's one issue down And this will still probably cause uh, emission fault, so there's no point rushing for MOT So let's sort that out next Like, like I said, there's no engine management lights on or nothing, but when you Rev it up, it is a little bit lumpy, so That is what I'm gonna do next guys Right, it's been a couple of days since the last time I uh, filmed, although you'd see it'd be a couple of seconds for you. So, I know I keep on going over and repeating myself. I've sorted the Lombarda sensors out. Now we've got um, a misfire in four cylinders. I changed the spark plugs, so before I go investigating any of the coils, I've still got the original spark plugs. I'm going to put them back in to see if that was the misfire. And then I'm waiting for a tool to gap the spark plugs, just in case the gap might be wrong on them. But in the meantime, I just want to see if it's the spark plugs that's at fault. So let's get these out, replace them, and uh, see if that works. That's not right. It's not right, that ain't. That's new, isn't it? It's a brand new spark plug. So, I think we might have a coil issue. It's definitely not firing. Let's put the original one back in for now. All right.
Okay, right, I've replaced all the spark plugs with the original ones that were from the car. These are the new ones, which are taut, I know you can't really see that, but really sorted up. And they're brand new, I haven't gone really anywhere. So I think there's another issue there, obviously. The soap, it was just the spark plugs, it was faulty. So what I'm going to do now is get a diagnostics, slap it on and see if it shows up any misfire before I put all the panels back. There's no point otherwise. Right, I am now back in the car. I haven't started it. It's freezing cold. It's been a really frosty morning as well. So I had to rush and try and do that because it's like, uh, what's the time now? 20 past four, so the light is fading. I've been in work all day and managed to get home for half past three. So, fingers crossed now, putting them plugs back in. Let's cure this misfire. I've got it on ready. Let's uh, see what she sounds like. Right, at the moment she's taking over her right, which we knew that wasn't the issue. Let's do a scan. You don't want to see all that, so we'll get back to you once I've finished that. It's come up with the fault so we knew about, the misfire. Uh, that was from the other day, so I'm going to clear that now. And hopefully it should go, and when I rev it up, it should uh, clear everything and not come back. That's for the key fob. See, it's low battery, so I'll just clear that. Sorry about the noise, guys. Right. Right, it's all been erased. Should come back all okay, which it has. Right, great. Now, what I'm going to do now is give the car. Well, that definitely sounds better. It's not lumpy at all. So, I think it was the spark plugs guys, and they were brand new. So what I'm going to do is have a look at the gap size on that. I have ordered a tool from Amazon. It, it was supposed to come today. It have not come yet. Uh, so I can check the gap size on them. But they were probably from the wrong wrong type of car. Because everything I ordered from uh, Europarts on that particular order was wrong. So I should imagine they are probably wrong plugs as well. So I've put the original ones back in and it seems to, it's not lumpy anyway. And before, it was pumping out. Doesn't seem to be half as much fumes coming up there as was it was before. It was bellowing out. So fingers crossed we might have fixed this guys. Okay, let's do a little start the scan again. Right, bear with me, let's see if it comes up. Alright guys, I think we have cured the fault once and for all. Uh, that was causing the emissions was the spark plugs and the dodgy O2 sensor which we knew about. So I'm gonna take it around the block as well just to double check. Take it for a quick spin, but it's definitely running better. Not lumpy at all. So I'll take it around now and we'll check it again. Right, it's ticking over lovely. I've just gone around and fingers crossed. There isn't a misfire. If it's a misfire, then I, I, 
it's got to be plugs, uh, not plugs, coil, and then go from here. Oh, I don't know, but it's doing its thing a minute. So I'll get back to you once it's done that. It's come up with that air right now. So I'll take a picture of that. I'll take a picture of that. There is no misfire, but that has come up and there's a brand new um, O2 sensor, so it's obviously a fault somewhere. I have put cat cleaner in the car, so with a bit of luck, it, it, once you've had a run, it should clear it through and hopefully clear it all and hopefully these errors will go. But there is no misfire now. So it's just a O2 sensor fault. Like I said, I've replaced both of them, so it can't be the sensors themselves. Um, so I'm gonna have to do a little uh, research on the code itself. But I wanna chuck it on to see if the emissions have gone down, and I've hopefully I've sorted the emission side of it. So fingers crossed, I'll, I'll find out, uh, I'll let you know. Right, I've just got back from the garage, uh, just to chuck it on to see if it'll uh, get through the emissions. It was better, but it was still holding the red. Uh, they seem to think that the cat is buggered. So that's a huge fail, guys. Huge fail. So looks like I'm gonna have to try and source a cat for the car. Uh, it, all fairness, it did have a, a bit of a dent in the cat uh, when it had the crash, but I thought it wouldn't affect it that badly. Uh, obviously, it has. So it looks like we're going to need a cat, guys. Uh, I don't know whether to end this video now or carry on. Uh, but at the moment, the car's still got no MOT. So it'll probably be the next video now will probably be me getting the cat for the car and fitting that. So I've changed the park plugs, done everything else. So I know this car's dragging on and I would like to get a new one, but. It's still giving you a little bit of content, guys, while, while uh, we wait in. So, I hope you uh, enjoy the video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Please like, share and subscribe, guys. That's all I ask for. And I will see you all next time, guys. Cheers.